Today we're going to make an original drink, red rum. For this drink, you're going to need a rocks glass, a graduated double jigger, a measuring spoon, a bar spoon, a Hawthorne strainer, a fine mesh strainer, a mixing glass, and a microplane grater, or a vegetable peeler, cutting board, and a small knife. This drink uses rum, Campari, cherry liqueur, curacao, and lime zest. This drink was inspired by The Shining, and my interpretation was pretty literal. The drink was made with rum, and its color is red. Not to mention that it looks like a drink that would pour out of an elevator in the overlook. To achieve the color, Campari was the obvious choice, but I didn't want it to be as strongly bitter as a Negroni, or some kind of Negroni variation. That's where the cherry liqueur comes in, which adds more sweetness as well as more color. In thinking about the drink, I was really taken with the idea of doing a stirred, spirit-forward rum drink. Most rum drinks contain a syrup or a juice of some kind, and there aren't a lot of really boozy rum drinks the way there are for whiskey or gin. I was originally playing around with Ray and Nephew for the rum, but it's so funky and intense in this drink that it didn't quite work. It's possible to get a light rum to work in this drink, but a dark rum works better, and an overproof dark rum works best. And even though I'm using a Jamaican rum, I commandeered a lime zest technique from the Cuban bartenders of the 1920s. It's the perfect way to add that big citrus note to the drink without adding the tartness or dilution of lime juice. Rum is a naturally sweet spirit, and it makes this drink a little sweeter than it would be with a different base spirit. It's approachable, but it doesn't totally shy away from the bitterness. It's funky and citrusy and tempting. And at the overlook, red rum is on the house. Let's start by chilling our glass. Fill it with ice and water and set it aside. Next, we're gonna measure an ounce and a half of rum. Add that to the mixing glass. Measure half an ounce of Campari. Add that to the mixing glass. Measure half an ounce of cherry liqueur. Add that to the mixing glass. Measure a quarter ounce of curacao. Add that to the mixing glass. Then we'll add the lime zest. If you're using a microplane grater, shave off a little pile of lime zest. Scoop up roughly a quarter teaspoon and dump that in your mixing glass. If you don't have a microplane grater or a zester, just use the vegetable peeler. I find that with limes, I can never get a good peel without getting some of the white pith. So to remove the pith, I use a knife to fillet the lime peel and slice off the excess pith. That way you'll have a good lime peel with very little pith to use in your mixing glass. Add ice and stir it well to chill it down and give it some dilution. Dump the ice and water from your rocks glass, then double strain the contents of your mixing glass into your chilled rocks glass. The fine mesh strainer will help prevent any little bits of lime from getting in your drink. There's no need to garnish this one. And there it is. Red rum. Enjoy. Click here for more videos. Be sure to subscribe. And check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.